Okay, hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me using my weekly makeup products. I already filled in my brows, so this video would not be forever, even though it probably will be because that's just how I roll. So, I haven't filmed in like a week. I've been taking care of some business that needed to be taken care of. And as soon as it's done, I will update you guys on what it is and let you know. But right now, yeah, I just wanted to do a get ready with me and a weekly makeup basket. Because I'm on a no buy and I need to start using up some of my products here. So I'm just using my IT Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector and I use it as a base for my eyeshadow because it is absolutely stunning for that. Um, I said I'm on a no buy but I am buying a couple of new things from the 21 Days of Beauty and just from Ulta in general things I wanted but I'm not buying stuff like I said in that video I'm not going to buy stuff that I know I'm not going to use. You know what I mean? So I bought a couple of things that I really wanted for a while. And yeah, so. Oh yeah. I'm just using my basic shadows. Makeup Geek's um, Peach Smoothie just to set the It Bye Bye Under Eye. And I'm going to be using the Chocolate Bonbons palette. I already showed you guys all this stuff. So, oh my god, it smells so freaking like chocolate, it just mm, smells amazing. So I'm going to be getting my nails done probably tomorrow, finally. Um, it's been a while. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Point and Crease Brush and pick up. I like this palette, but I kind of don't. I don't know, I think it's cute. The hearts and the how it's pink and all that and it smells like chocolate but I don't know if this is a palette that I will be using a lot that's why I'm including it in my weekly makeup basket because if I don't do it this way it'll probably just sit in my drawer so that's why I'm doing it like this I'm gonna pick up the color mocha and start putting that in my crease oh my god it just smells so good I just want to eat it like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, I hardly use that palette. You don't, you guys don't understand how many palettes I have that just sit there. Like the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2. I don't even use those. That's why I'm doing this weekly makeup basket again. Because when I was doing it, I was actually using the products that I had in my weekly makeup basket for a week straight. Everything I showed, I used for a week straight and it was a good way to start using up my products and that's what I want to continue to do or I'm never going to use it, you know what I mean? I'm just going to blend a little bit yeah so let's take the outer V brush and pick up Bordeaux Nice dark color. So yeah, I ordered a couple of new things that I wanted. And then I got a couple of new things. And I'm doing this 21 Days of Beauty. I always do the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Every time it comes around. Because it's a good way to get stuff that you want. And gift sets to try new products. You know what I mean? So if I could do that, that's what I'm going to do. Like I picked up some new Tarte stuff. Tarte foundation, Rainforest Under the Sea. The foundation and the concealer. I need to do a haul and I need to do a review and all that kind of stuff. But I'm kind of waiting for the rest of my, until the 21 Days of Beauty is over. So I can show you guys everything that I got. Just still picking up that Bordeaux, which is absolutely a beautiful color. And I am just putting it in the outer V. 
blending it out. I mean, the colors are nice in this palette, but I feel like I already have these colors. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's what I feel like with some of these palettes. Like, I'm like, oh, I already have that. Now we need a lid color, and I think I'm just going to do, 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 do I don't know, molasses chip. It's like a shimmery color. I don't know. Oh yeah, that is pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. I've been so focused on like the pinks in this palette. Then I'm just going to pick up the outer V, outer V, the pencil brush and pick up that molasses chip again and take this, not molasses chip, Jesus, Bordeaux, and put it back in the outer V with the pencil brush because this is so precise. I should have used this to begin with. You can even do a wing with this if you really wanted to with this Makeup Geek pencil brush because it's so pointy. And it fits perfectly on my eye. On mine it does. Like if I wanted to do a wing. Or just line the top of my eyes. I could easily do it with this pencil brush. See? I mean I'm not doing it. But that's how this fits in my eyes. It's like perfect. And this Bordeaux color is absolutely stunning. Looks like I need some more. I've been like doing this technique now where I'm just putting this right in my outer V, dark colors. I never did that before. I'm bringing it up a little more and then blending it. I never used to do that, like put a dark color in my outer V. I would just put a couple of colors on my lid and blend away, but this, I don't know, I've just been liking this. Just a little bit of color in the outer V, not too much, and if I get it too high up in the crease, I'll take the color that I use on my lid and blend with that, or a lighter color. Yeah. So that's what we're working with. Oh my god, every time I open and shut this, I just want to smell it some more. Right now. Mm. Let's see if you guys could see a little bit. You can barely see what's going on with the lighting here. It's not me, it's my lighting. Okay, let's do the rest. So I could. Yeah. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Cover on Olay. Anyway, I was going to try to make this quick, excuse me, because it's just to get ready with me using the products, but I wanted to talk to you guys. I love the way this primer makes my skin. And for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in W6 Sun Beige. I haven't used this foundation in so long. And this is like one of my favorite drugstore foundations. And I am just literally polka dotting my face. Now, I don't like to put too much of this on. It may look like I am, but I'm really not. Oops. I don't like a lot of liquid foundation when I do use liquid foundation. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. Oh, and my hair is getting in it. And I'm just using my IT brush, just patting it in. I think I put enough on for three people. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but lately I've just been...
putting less liquid foundation on. I like powder foundation now. <sighs> and Tarte came out with some new ones. I mean the powders, but I use them as powder foundations because they have so much coverage to them lately, all these powders, that it just covers my skin so well. Because I'm like tan and then I'm light. So I'm like in the middle and everything, the powders and stuff that I usually pick, all I need is a couple of, like one layer of liquid and I'm done. The powders I need like just a couple of pats of it and it covers my whole entire face so I've been loving powders and it doesn't give you acne it doesn't break you out liquid foundation doesn't really break me out I mean I don't really get pimples but I don't know I just I just noticed that liquid foundation after I'm done removing it with makeup remover everything I could possibly use cleaner anything it just feels different than when I'm just using powder when I use powder it feels more I don't know I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, shit. All right, now I need... Jeez. I need this. I gotta take the brushes out that I need. So, I've been using something else to clean my brushes. The Philosophy, um... What is it called? I don't know, I'll have to do a video on it. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal True Match powder in W6 Sun Beige, the same as the foundation. And I'm just going to set my face, not under my eyes yet, because I didn't do my concealer yet. I'm just setting where all this is. And we'll go back in with the powder. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer, and mine is in. Shit. Medium. I don't know what the hell this is in. Whatever. And another thing, too, I do not like a lot of concealer. That is not a lot. A lot of people go in with like three layers of concealer. I'm not about that. Give me just one layer. I don't even normally do a triangle, but I don't know. And I haven't been buying any new concealers except for the Tarte one because I wanted to try that Rainforest or Under the Sea, whatever the hell it's called. You know what I'm talking about. The new one they just came out with. Rainforest. What is it called? Jeez, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, I wanted to try that and their foundation, and then Ulta had new Tarte foundation, concealer, and powder, and I picked that up as well. The Ulta is so close to me over here. Just like Florida, it's like right around the corner. I just put a little bit of that powder on. I don't want to put too much on because it's sun beige, you know what I mean? Okie dokie. <sighs> For bronzer, I'm using Max Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder. Ow. Shit. My foot is falling asleep. Doo -doo. Sorry, I'm trying to get my brushes here. That is not the one I want. I've really been liking this brush right here from the Ariel collection just to do a contour line even though you can't really see it with this bronzer because this bronzer doesn't really show up on me you gotta really pack it in but I'm just putting it where I want it even though I'm not going outside I just want to put it there and it's not sunny out by no means so now I'm just gonna blend it out and put some more right here. I don't know. I like this, but it's not like pack and color, you know what I mean? Pack and color. And then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink, and it's the new formula. Yeah, now the new formula, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah.
and you do not need a lot of this. I just dipped my brush in barely and the color payoff is stunning. But I do like the way it makes my cheeks all rosy. This is a really nice blush for Wet n Wild. Like I said, I don't know what they did with the formula, but they definitely made it banging. For highlighter, I'm using Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. This highlighter is the bomb. Now you can go ham with this, or you could just put whatever you want. This highlighter is pigmented. Ah, damn. My foot fell asleep. <sighs> okay, now for eyeliner. You see, my foot fell asleep. I'm going to use Stila's Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Sepia. This eyeliner is a phenomenal. I got this from last year's 21 Days of Beauty. When the Stila eyeliners were on sale, the only thing I don't like about it is the color is not coming out but we will make it work. I also picked up the yellow one too, Canary. I love it. It's absolutely stunning. I just wish these would come out more. It's like it's broken. No wonder why they were on sale. I don't know. Mascara Voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Rock. Oops. Rock. Hmm. Ooh. Lipstick I'm using NARS Audacious in Anna. I love how these are magnetic like. Okay, and that's it guys. That is my get ready with me using my weekly makeup basket products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see next and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.